Good morning and welcome to Meredith Dale Network Marketing Coaching. This is your Thursday free training for April the 23rd today. Welcome, how are you? I hope you are doing great. Let's jump right into the lesson for today. What we need to do when we want to make sales inside of our network marketing business is we have to simplify. Now, I used to make the mistake that the majority of distributors make when they first start their business. And that's, I used to get really excited when I had someone to talk to, when I had an opportunity to talk about my business um, opportunity or my product opportunity. Whenever I had someone interested, I got super excited. What happened was I would talk so fast and go through so much that they had yet to understand, I confused them and I lost them. So this lesson for today is simplify to simplify sales. Simplify your um, approach to how you're going to talk to people to simplify and actually succeed in making sales. Let's jump in to point number one, pay attention to your audience. Have you ever received an email where your name is misspelled? Or maybe you have received a form email and the person has actually included the name of the last person that they just talked to. Have you ever received a very random Facebook message or an Instagram post comment where they were trying to respond to you, but it was absolutely intended for the person that was right before you? You know what happens is that they have completely lost you. When you pay attention to your audience, you need to understand and get right, first and foremost, their name. Double check and personalize, personalize each email that you send out. Each piece of correspondence that you're sending out needs to be personalized to that person. If that means that you only get through 10 emails for the day, 10 points of contact to 10 people because you took the time to get their name right, to personalize it, you were paying attention to what niche they're in, and you only get to talk to 10 people in one day. You've only sent out 10 emails or 10 points of contact instead of 100 because 100 you are just using a form generated email, a form generated Facebook message and just blasting it out everywhere. Those 10 that you paid attention to and that you got in front of for the day are going to turn into successful, long-lasting relationships versus the hundred that you blasted out thinking that you are actually achieving more when in actuality you don't hear back from any of those hundred people. Now when I say pay attention, I mean pay attention to each specific niche that you are talking to. If you are trying to send out a $100 product to a niche that can afford a $10 product, do you think that you're actually going to succeed in sales? You're not simplifying any piece of your marketing strategy and you're going to confuse your audience. If you know that you have a $10 audience but you're not paying attention and you're sending out a form email that's offering a $100 product you're confusing these $10 people because when they got started with you, they were getting started with something that you had put out there that piqued their interest for opting in at your $10 price point. If all of a sudden you are now pitching them on a $100 product, they're thinking as they read the email or as they're getting the Facebook post, they're thinking, Meredith doesn't know me at all. This woman is completely off base because she doesn't understand, I can't afford $100. I liked what she was saying at $10. So they're going to opt out of my list at $100. I'm never going to see them again because I didn't pay attention. I didn't simplify my actions, simplify my business to take the time and personalize what I was sending out to each person. Now this goes the same way, the same opposite way. If I have a $10 product 
and I'm sending it out to my $100 list, they're not going to pay attention to that $10 product because they want to spend $100. They have $100 burning a hole in their pocket and $10 simply isn't going to cut it for them. Do you understand what I'm saying here? There's different levels of customers and the $100 people want to spend $100. They don't feel like they're getting as much of a product at $10 as they do at $100. So again, they're going to be getting the $10 email that you send out, and they're going to say, Meredith doesn't know me. She doesn't know that I have $100. When she was talking about the $100 product, I opted into her list because that excited me. I wanted more information on that. And now she's sending me $10 products, and I think that's just cheap. I don't want to go that route. So I'm going to lose those people as well. So pay attention to your audience. Get their names right. Personalize it towards them if that means you get 10 people instead of 100 people in a day that is better for your business. And pay attention to the niche they're in. Step number two. Let's talk about terminology. Boy, I really got this one wrong. Really, really, really got this one wrong when I first got started in network marketing. Especially when I first got started in talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. I was super excited, so I started jumping in to every single thing I could in the first five minutes, and literally the phone on the other side would go dead. It would go simply quiet, because the person had never heard all of this terminology before, and I overwhelmed them. I confused them right out of the bat because of my excitement, because I wasn't willing to simplify it, and before I got on the phone, think, who is my audience? Who is this person I'm going to be talking to? Do they know any of this terminology that I'm about to want to talk about? Or do I need to take a different route? Now this is the exact same in your company. People might not know all of the different products you have. They may not know all of the different names of the ingredients that are in those products. They may not know about your different levels of how to advance and rank inside of your business. So if you get a woman, let's, let's take a business example for this one. If you get a woman or a man on the phone and they're interested in your business opportunity, I want you to stop for a second, long before you ever get on the phone, and think to yourself, what does this person know about my company? Am I going to overwhelm them if I immediately get on the phone and start jumping through rank advancement and that I have to have 80 downlines in this vein to advance to the next level with 20 downlines under them to advance to this level to get to the next tier, which then gets me into a higher color or a higher gem status, you know, diamond, emerald, ruby, orange, yellow, green, black, um, whatever levels you are in, right? So distributor, um, promoter, um, advisor. This is all information. This is all terminology that that person has never heard of before. You're going to get on the phone, and if you don't smart it down, not dumb it down, smart it down, get smart. Think about where are they starting at. So chances are good when they're looking for your business opportunity, they are at the very bottom level. They have no clue about how to advance. So don't go into the advancement. Go in to your opportunity. Why you loved the, the, the business opportunity. What lifestyle it afforded you. Where you are taking it to the next level. Okay, And then ask questions. Get smart and ask questions. When you start asking questions and you stop and you listen, they are going to tell you exactly what they need to hear. They don't need to hear on the first phone call how to reach black status, triple diamond status, um, you know, uh, whatever gym you have inside of your business. They don't need to hear that. Ask them a question and they're going to tell you exactly what they want to hear. Let's get into number three. How do I position myself? When I'm on the phone, am I jumping into terminology they don't understand? 
Am I smarting it down? Meaning, am I talking to the people in language they understand? And how do I position myself? How do I, and this is really big, this is when I understood this, when I finally got this inside of my business, and when the people that I work with inside of my coaching, when we talk about becoming relatable, when we talk about positioning yourself in alliance with the person you're talking to, right? So you're not in front of them, yelling at them, you're not standing behind them, trying to talk to them. When you get right in aligned with them, when you find something that you guys can be related to, it opens up your business, your sales, your team sponsorship, unlike anything I have ever seen anywhere. So, what do they want? What do they want? Remember, your business is not about you. It has absolutely nothing to do about you. It has everything to do about the person you're talking to. So how are you going to position yourself in alignment with this person? Do you understand how to bring up a topic that instantly makes you relatable to that person? So if I'm getting on the phone and I'm talking about how high I've advanced in my company and this person is just starting on the bottom level, we don't become related at all. It does not become an even playing field at all. But if I get on the phone and I tell my story of how I can relate to this man or this woman coming in at the bottom level, instantly I am in fellowship with them. I am in a sisterhood, a brotherhood. We have become allies on the same team together. So I want you to think about this every single time you're about to put a Facebook post out there, if you're about to get on the phone, if you're about to do a video, which I highly suggest you start doing videos today. That's, <laughs> I mean, in my coaching program, in my coaching group, that is the only thing I ever tell anybody. I say, let's get this, this, this done. And oh yeah, you need to start doing videos. <laughs> so when you start doing your videos, how am I going to position myself? How am I going to relate to this person? And what do they want? Remember, do you understand your audience? Do you understand their niche? And if you do, then what they want is incredibly simple. Number four, test drive your message. I love this one. Test drive it. And who do I say to avoid? Avoid friends and family. Ah! <laughs> ah! So then who do I talk to? Who do I test drive my message out on if I don't have friends and family to talk to? And Meredith, why would you even suggest that I don't test drive it out on my friends and family? Why I say don't test drive it out on your friends and family, okay, is because your friends and family are who you trust. You know that they're not going to shoot you down and tell you don't change a whole lot because they want to encourage you. They don't want to really let you know everything that you have to change. So when you have to test drive your message, when you're paying attention to who you're talking to, when you're making sure that what you're, how you're sounding, your terminology is smarted up, smarted down, when you are positioning yourself to become relatable to the person, understanding what they want, this is your whole message. So the one, two, three, that's your message. Now we have to find someone to test drive it out on. So you test drive it out on people who are objective. You test drive it out on a coach who is going to be completely objective, who is only there to give you a sounding board, who has your best interest in mind. And oftentimes, coaches, mentors, um, colleagues, and, and you know, colleagues are even a little sketchy, you know, people inside of the same company, even if you don't know them very well, because they're still going to understand your terminology. They're going to still understand, you know, the business and how, and you're going to be relatable to them. So I want you to find someone who is completely objective. You can find these people if you are at your son's baseball game, for example. So I go to my son's baseball games, and as you're there, you're in the bleachers and you're talking to other parents. And if you happen to really hit it off with a parent 
screw up your courage and ask them if they wouldn't mind being objective for you, right? What better way to get your courage up than asking someone to be an objective audience for you? Now, we don't need to do it at the baseball game, but you could say, um, you know, Trevor's mom, I really like you, and I was wondering if we could just meet for coffee, maybe for an hour one day. There's something I'm really doing inside of my business that I'm very excited about, and I was wondering if you would test drive it. I'll pay for your coffee. Let's meet at the Starbucks at you know 10 o'clock on Friday morning. And Trevor's mom is going to say, sure, I like you too. Let's go do that. So then you sit down and you have an objective person to test drive your message out on. And once you start doing that, you're already talking to a stranger. So doing the video that I encourage you to do, doing the emails, the Facebook follow-ups, Instagram follow-ups is not going to be that scary because you've already been talking to an objective audience. Now, if you're really looking for help, you need to get inside of a mentorship, a coaching program. Go and watch any of the, the top leaders inside of your company. When they're on stage, what do they talk about? They talk about their story, right? Everyone leads with a story, how they were this, how they were that how they were low, how they hadn't paid their mortgage, and then they, then they hooked in to a system, right? So it's your business system. They're going to talk about how they had a mentor inside of the business who helped them succeed. Whatever it is, whoever it is, get yourself an objective audience so you can simplify your business. Right now, it might be confusing it might be feeling like it's really hard because it's just too much all going on at the same time. I believe a successful business is four steps. It's four steps in anything you're doing. Now this works for anything. I was watching a video this morning and the woman, Marie Forley, was talking about this works for doctors. This works if you want to raise inside of your 9 to 5 right now. This works for people trying to get on TV. This works for any type of endeavor that you are trying to succeed at right now. And of course, who I'm talking to are network marketers. So that's where we've been focused. But even if you want to go try this out today at your 9 to 5 job with your child's teacher, please pay attention to your audience their names, personalize it, pay attention to what they are, who they are, what they're doing, smart down your terminology, talk in a level they're going to understand, figure out how you're going to position yourself long before you go into the meeting with that person, how are you going to instantly become relatable to them, how are you going to understand what they want out of the transaction, because it's not just always about you, and then test drive your message real quick. And if you're going into somewhere today and you want to test drive your message real quick, but you don't have anyone, pull out your recording device. All phones have videos on them now. Take a video of yourself going through your message. Then stop it when you're done. Watch it. Maybe watch it a couple times. And there's your objective. You know, you're not that objective on yourself. You're going to pick apart a couple of your flaws. But still watch it. See how you're doing. Maybe re-record it, test drive it a couple times, and then launch it out to the world. I am nothing but here to encourage you guys. Please visit me at MeredithDale.com. Take away from this training today to simplify your business. You're going to be amazed at the levels it's going to take you to. I'll see you next Thursday for your free training. Visit me at MeredithDale.com, and I would love to hear what step out of these four simplified steps are you going to use today? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me, is it number one, two, three, or four? What are you going to use to simplify your business today? I will see you soon. As always, Meredith Dale, your network marketing coach. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.